Chrissy Teigen Tegan, A Very Sinking Narcissist, Part 11. We continue with the Daily Mail online with an article that comes the day after the one that I've just spoken about in Part 10. This time it's written by Christine Rendon and it's headed Exclusive. John Legend gives Chrissy Teigen Tegan a playful squeeze on her behind as a couple enjoy a much-needed holiday in Italy after a tough year amid cyberbullying scandal. Well, news indeed. With all of the woes of the world, what we all need to know about is that John Legend is there giving Chrissy Teigen Tegan a playful squeeze on her behind. And we are treated to a picture of Indeed, his hand on her behind as she wears what looks like a mishmash of an explosion in an upholstery shop. Anyway, leaving that to one side, this is a further example of the necessity of the assertion of control a la Harry's wife by the placing of articles and posts in the press and, of course, through her Instagram account in order to ensure that she asserts control generally specifically, and draws fuel. Now, of course, it talks about a much-needed holiday in Italy. In her mind, it will be much needed, because in her world, she's been hard done to. All of the backlash that she has experienced as a consequence of her unpleasant behaviour threatens her control. She does not sit there and think, I deserve every ounce of vitriol that's coming in my direction. No. That would mean an admission of being wrong. It would mean the presence of emotional empathy, genuine contrition. All of those things would mean that she wouldn't have control and her narcissism is not going to let her go down that route. Instead, her unaware narcissism says, you're being hard done to. All these people with their horribly horrible comments towards you. It's ever so unkind and unpleasant. You're only a human being that's aired, you know. All you need to do is take some steps to tell people that you're sorry and that you in therapy and some more therapy and a bit more therapy and therefore everything will be all right and therefore she believes that she's entitled to this holiday to escape all of the hatred that she doesn't deserve it all and that is her narcissism asserting control through a combination of withdrawal from a certain environment and then thereafter publicizing her attendance on this holiday as a means to assert control through the media the article tells us as follows. She recently came under fire after bullying tweets from her past resurfaced. But Chrissy Teigen Tegan's husband, John Legend, helped her take her mind off things as the duo continued their magical getaway to Italy with their two children. He won't have been taking her mind off anything because the moment that her narcissism has asserted control over any threat, it's forgotten about. Believe me, she does not sit there ruminating and lamenting her behaviour. It only matters to her when it comes on the radar. So if someone was to lean over from an adjoining table and say, hey, frying pan face, you're the bitch that's been putting all of those tweets out, haven't you? Bing, it comes back on the radar. Cue hurt face or perhaps a dismissive curt response in order to assert control over this interloper who has issued challenge fuel. Once that's been done and control has been asserted, she goes back to downing some limoncella or snacking on a pizza. She doesn't sit there continuing to think everybody's horrible to me. She moves on to the next thing. Of course, if she's unable to assert control, and let's say the person on the adjoining table keeps shouting over at her, hey, frying pan face, what you did was really ugly. Oi, moon face, that was absolutely horrendous behaviour. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. She will sit there, possibly pouting, turning on the waterworks, or asking for that person to be removed. And, of course, it will continue to trouble her. But once that individual has been dealt with, indeed, the threat to control that they pose has been addressed, that's it. She, of course, might make mention of it to somebody else. I can't believe that people could be so cruel as a means of triangulating that new person with the threat to control that occurred from the person on the adjoining table in order to control that new person through a pity play. Yes, it's awful, Chrissy Teigen Tegan. You really ought not to have to put up with that behaviour. But if there's no need to control them in that method, she won't mention it and she'll move on. Of course, it will keep cropping up because she'll be reminded of it. 
by the press, by people on social media. And then she will nullify the threat through one of the three assertions of control. And then having done that, she just moves on to the next thing. Understand, she does not sit around regretting what she's done. She doesn't sit around wallowing in self-pity. She doesn't sit there reflecting on her behaviour. The narcissism won't let her do that. It's redundant. It's pointless. It serves no purpose. We don't have a conscience. We don't express remorse. We might do false remorse. We might believe that we have a conscience where our kind are unaware, but we don't. The narcissist, of course, is led to believe through the revision of history that they have been sat in a hole of self-hatred, but they haven't. It's an invention by the narcissism in the moment now, revising history, telling that narcissist that's what they've been doing so that they can issue that in the moment to assert control over whoever happens to be interacting with them in that moment. But it didn't happen. The narcissism makes the narcissist believe that it did in order to assert control using that particular pity play over those that are being interacted with by the narcissist in that moment. The article continues. The PDA We Just Don't Care crooner, 42, gave his love a playful squeeze on her behind as they explored beautiful Liguria, Italy. The couple didn't let the nearby crowd stop them from putting on a touchy-feely display during their day of exploration. In return, Chrissy tenderly placed her hand on his shoulder with her stunning diamond ring on full display. Benign manipulation of Mr Legend as a consequence of the fact that his gesture towards her signalled control and fuel. The PDA continued throughout the day as the duo linked hands while strolling upon a dock together. Chrissy looked splendid <clears throat> in a colourful satin robe dress that clinched into her waist, whereas her husband wore an artistic button-down and matching shorts. We are then treated to a picture of an umbrella in a crowd. Oh no, it's Chrissy Teigen Tegan with her husband stood behind her. Now Mr Legend is walking along the beach. There's an umbrella following him. And now he's holding hands with the umbrella. Now he's walking alongside again on the beach with the umbrella. Now he appears to be on the street with um, the children, a crowd of people around them. I think that lady in the background is thinking, is that an umbrella that has become lost from the sun loungers down at the beach and is rogue? It's gone rogue going down the street, or perhaps that is an explosion in the local cushion shop. Not entirely clear. We have another advertisement where you can go and buy the abomination. And then we're treated to some footage of them getting into a car together while she is wearing what would be best described as something that you would see in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory that you would lick and taste when he put the wallpaper on the wall. Of course, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory being written by the brilliant and talented Roald Dahl. Anyway, I digress. Back to the article. The model slicked her honey locks away from her complexion while jazzing up the look with her large gold hoop earrings. Notice we were told that in yesterday's article. All throughout, the couple kept a close eye on their children. The family of four walked in sync with one another as they tuck in the stunning city sights. Chrissy shared a cuddle with her son Miles Three, who also enjoyed a ride on his father's shoulders. All of this, of course, makes it look like that she's kind and caring and pleasant. We're then treated to a picture of one of the children who's being basically driven in towards her nether regions, poor child. And then she stood hands on hips, looking around as if to say, can you see me? Can you see me? I am at cushion tent. And then some more pictures down by the boon dock, Mr. Legend holding hands with an umbrella and still holding hands with the umbrella back on the beach again, holding hands with the umbrella. Oh, we're back in the street again. As the umbrella goes rogue, the umbrella gets near to the sea and on it goes. All of this, of course, is an assertion of control through PR pictures, posing as the happy family. See, I am kind. See, I do function. I'm just a, a mum. No, you're not. You're a narcissist. The article continues. The fun continued at the beach where Miles ventured ankle deep into the water as his parents watched over him. And the famous family even enjoyed a boat ride together. Well, fuck me. Crazy times, where Chrissy looked peaceful, sailing away with her children by her side. The trip wasn't complete without a little souvenir shopping. And before I can get to the next bit, we've got some more pictures. The umbrella is in the water. And now 
Mr. Legend has been let off the leash. He's there with his young son riding on his shoulders and he's escaped. He's escaped onto the boat, everybody. Legend is making a bid for freedom with two of the children. He's taking them to safety. He's smuggling them out of Gilead. No, no. The umbrella has caught him. The umbrella has caught him. They're on the boat together. The children and the umbrella is there, asserting control once again. The cookbook queen stopped by a kitchenware shop where she and her husband browsed through an assortment of tools. Chrissy even had her eye on a cutting board, which she showed off to her doting husband. Fucking fascinating. Whether she was saving the seeds on a boat or exploring the city, the drama thousands of miles away seemed like a distant memory for Chrissy. Well, you've got that ride mail online. She's not thinking about it at all because it's in the past because of her compartmentalization. And there we see Mr. Legend. He's holding up. He's wearing a mask now and he's holding some cookery things, showing them to the umbrella. And the umbrella is now showing him some cookery things. And then the walking umbrella is going back down to the beach and they're on the boat. And now they're on the boat again and Mr. Legend's helping the umbrella alight the boat. More and more pictures. All of this, of course, as I'm scrolling through picture after picture after picture, is all about the PR work, the assertion of control, and demonstrates that this individual hasn't got the slightest thought for her victims. It's all about me. I've had a really tough time. Feel sorry for me. But look at me now. The happy family, sunning it up in Italy, wandering around, quite freely being photographed, which of course we'll have told you where we'll be, so you can photograph all of this and stick it in the press for the purpose of the assertion of control. But there's more! Yes, join me in part 12, dear listeners, as we examine more of this particularly obvious narcissist behaviour and I break down what's occurring for you.